Today's technology-specific approaches virtually all phase out over the next eight years. Those incentives have become ill-suited to stimulating the breakthrough innovation we need. This committee should take advantage of the bipartisan consensus around deploying new technologies. For example, Representatives Reed and LaHood have proposed the Energy Sector Innovation Credit, or ESIC. This technology-neutral approach would leverage market signals, help the most promising technologies, and phase down as each technology proves its commercial availability. ESIC limits market distortions, unlike existing production tax credits. Its qualification criteria require step change performance across all generation sources. It does not pick winners and losers. A recent report sponsored by Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Coalition and authored by Daniel Juergen's IHS Market and former Energy Secretary Ernie Moniz's Energy Futures Initiative highlights federal tax policy as a key enabler for clean innovation. Moniz and Juergen specifically recognize the reed lahood ESIC concept. Some preliminary analysis conducted by Premier Energy Economic Modelers on location projects the reed lahood proposal to result in gigaton scale CO2 emissions reductions by 2040 just with contributions from a group of known clean technologies near to demonstration. Small modular reactors like NuScale, innovative carbon capture technologies like NetPower, floating offshore wind, and energy storage. ESIC will surely cut emissions far more by scaling up all the technologies we cannot even foresee today.